Ghana's power supply sources are from hydroelectricity, thermal plants, which is fueled by crude oil and sometimes natural gas and solar. The total installed capacity for existing power plants in Ghana is 5,134 megawatts, with a dependable capacity of 4,710 megawatts. Hydro generation accounts for 38% of power in the country. Thermal plants, which is the highest, accounts for 61%, and solar accounts for less than 1%. The country's electricity asset rate stands at 86.63%, with 50% of rural residents and 91% of urban residents connected to the electricity grid. But they have a goal of reaching 100% electricity assets by 2030, and that must come from renewable sources. So, the government of Ghana has been investing more in solar energy, and now they are doing something big because the country is developing a small modular reactor, SMR nuclear power plant. But they are not going to do it alone. Ghana is joining force with the United States of America and Japan to make this project a reality. And if they complete this project, Ghana would be the first implementer of the SMR nuclear reactor technology in Africa. Looking for our first nuclear power plant. And we've gone the site, the vendors have come, I didn't know that when somebody was courting you, it was the best time of your life. <laughs> but I'm being courted by everybody because everybody wants to build Ghana's first power plant, nuclear power plant. The Chinese, the, the French, the Americans, the Russians are all hovering around. I, I'm spoiled for choice, you see. <laughs> and so my sisters have been enjoying something they've not been telling us for a very, very, very long time. <laughs> but you know my biggest fear? The partnership of a nuclear power plant lasts longer than marriage. <laughs> the nuclear power plant gives you stable electricity at an affordable price. So we should put the government and all governments, I must say, from Kwame Nkrumah to today, have all pushed the agenda of a nuclear power plant. Ghana is one of the most prepared countries in Africa for a nuclear power plant. There are only two countries in Africa, Egypt, in South Africa. So in this video, we would like to share with you what is a small modular reactor nuclear power plant and its importance to a country like Ghana and everything behind Ghana's collaboration with the US and Japan. But before we start, please support us by liking the video and also subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for your support. Now let's dive into it. To understand what a small modular reactor nuclear plant is, let's first of all look at what a nuclear power plant is. A nuclear power plant is a facility that generates electricity using the energy released by splitting atoms using a process called nuclear fusion. Here is a simplified explanation. This plant uses fuel containing fossil materials, typically uranium. Inside the reactor, the atoms in the fuel are split apart, which release tremendous heat and energy. This heat is used to boil water, which creates steam. The steam rushes through a turbine and spines it at high speed. The spinning turbines is connected to a generator, which converts the mechanical energy into electricity. The electricity is then sent out through power lines to our homes and businesses. Nuclear power plants produce large amounts of energy without emitting greenhouse gases, which makes them a clean energy source. It provides the world with around 11% of its total electricity with the largest producer being the United States and France. So, a small modular reactor, SMR nuclear power plant, is a mini nuclear power plant that's about one third the size of a normal nuclear power plant, making it easier to build and use in various locations. So, on October 2022, the United States and Japan announced enhanced cooperation to help the development of SMR as well as other advanced reactor technologies in partner countries. The cooperation is being provided through the winning and edge through cooperation in advanced nuclear weaken agreement between US and Japan. So under the weaken agreement, both the US and Japan pledge their sustained effort to energy innovation, energy security, 
global clean energy transition in a smart, cost-effective and secure way. These goals will be accomplished through using the latest technology and commercial leadership in emerging technologies that will ensure reliable electricity and industrial heat. We can will provide support and services to countries pursuing innovative nuclear technologies that will help them access clean, reliable and support climate objectives. And Ghana has already adopted the International Atomic Energy Agency milestone approach which helps the country to develop their own nuclear plants in phases. That is why Ghana will be the first country to be supported by the US and Japan under the weekend agreement in the country's effort to be the first implementer of the SMR in Africa and establish itself in nuclear technology. Assessing the cutting-edge technology, Ghana will gain access to the latest SMR technologies from both the US and Japan which will ensure a safe and efficient energy source. The US and Japan will provide financial support for the project. Ghanaian engineers who also receive training from the US and Japanese experts, which will help in building local capacity for future nuclear projects. This project will position Ghana as a leader in SMR development in Africa, which will inspire other countries to adopt clean energy solutions. Let's hear something small from the Ghanaian minister responsible for energy, Honorable Mati Opoku Prempe, on how many countries are pushing to build Ghana's first nuclear plant. Look for our first nuclear power plant and we've gone the site the vendors have come I didn't know that when somebody was courting you it was the best time of your life <laughs> but I'm being courted by everybody because everybody wants to build Ghana's first power plant, nuclear power plant the Chinese the, the French the Americans the Russians are all hovering around. I, I'm spoiled for choice, you see. And so my sisters have been enjoying something they've not been telling us for a very, very, very long time. <laughs> but you know my biggest fear? The partnership of a nuclear power plant lasts longer than marriage. <laughs> and then that one, you, you can't exercise the right to leave. The partnership for life, because the average, average lifespan of a nuclear power plant is 60 years. And when you maintain it, all right, you add another 40 years. In fact, all nuclear power plants that were started, except those that were decommissioned because people were afraid, they are all in existence. And then current generation of nuclear power plants are fantastic. It is the safest form of energy we have, we have seen in life. And it gives us better base load even than Akusubu. Because Akusubu, if the climate changes, it changes. There was a time we were praying for water into Akusubu. Now the water is running over. Right? But the nuclear power plant gives you stable electricity at an affordable price. So we should cut the government and all governments, I must say, from Kwame Nkrumah to today have all pushed the agenda of a nuclear power plant. Ghana is one of the most prepared countries in Africa for a nuclear power plant. There are only two countries in Africa, Egypt and South Africa. Surely, they are not popularizing it because it was not Ghana that started. If it was Ghana, ah, like every African country will have a nuclear power plant. If we want to achieve our sustainable development goals, our climate goals, the best energy source to decarbonize the environment is nuclear power plant and sure ghana will be one of the participant countries so i see this partnership between ghana the us and japan as a significant step towards a cleaner and brighter future for ghana with access to a reliable and affordable energy ghana can continue to develop its economy and improve the lives of its citizens but this is just the beginning because the success of this project would pave the way for more smr deployments across the african continent which will contribute to a more sustainable future for the beautiful african continent so what are your thoughts on this let us know in the comment section below my name is sheriff haruna have a joyful life and see you in our next video Macrao.